Hello everyone, welcome to Bodha Course IAS Academy, Northeast's pioneer institute for APSC and UPSC preparation. I'm your friend Atre, and today I'll be doing news analysis for the Assam Tribune dated 22nd December 2020. Do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For further updates, contents and free mock tests, do visit our official website bias.bothakursiasacademy.com. The link of the same has been provided in the description box below. So let's see what's in store for today's news. Start karte hai, humare first news se, jo hai, India suspends all UK flights from December 23rd. All connecting flights uh, between UK and India will remain suspended from Wednesday till 31st of December. Civil Aviation Ministry has confirmed this news on Monday in view of the emergence of a mutated variant of coronavirus there. Yahan pe mutated variant ka matlab yehi hota hai ki there is a change in the genetic sequence of the virus. Molecular arrangement jo rehta hai virus mein, uska jo arrangement hai, molecular arrangement hai that has been altered and changed because of which mutation has occurred and this has resulted in the outbreak of a recent uh, infection in the United Kingdoms. Reacting to the same, the Union Health Minister of India, Harshvardhan, has assured us that the government is alert enough and they have called up for an urgent meeting of its joint monitoring group uh, and there is nothing to panic about that. In similar line is the night curfew that has been re-implemented in Maharashtra till 5th of Jan because of this uh, reacting to the COVID-19 em emergency. Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre of Mar Maharashtra, he has implemented the night curfew in Maharashtra till 5th of Jan. That is, uh, the state will be closed between 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. And uh, besides this, 14 days, uh, home people who will be returning from United Kingdom, they will be tested and uh, 14 days home quarantine will be a mandatory for the passengers who will be arriving from all the other countries uh, by flights to the international airport in Mumbai, Pune and Nagpur. So third news from the front page itself is Modi Mood's broader agenda for talks on global growth. Mood's, mood ka matlab hota hai, subjected to debate, dispute or to raise an issue on any public platform. Asserting that growth patterns must follow a human-centric approach, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said discussions on global growth cannot happen only among a few as the table must be bigger and uh, the agenda broader. So here human-centric approach ke mein, uh, focus kiya gaya hai by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He's, uh, talking, he's, he's raising this issue on the 6th Indo-Japan Samwad Conference as uh, they come to a, as this particular conference has occurred at a time when India has been pushing for reformed multilateralism at the United Nations and other global flora, fora. Multilateralism ka matlab hota hai principal participation by three or more parties, especially government of different countries. Modi, in his message at the conference via a video link said, hostility will never achieve peace and in the past, humanity took the path of confrontation instead of collaboration. He has emphasized on the benefits of collaboration, on the benefits of working together with a more human-centric approach so that it becomes beneficial for not only one country, but it becomes a global, globally effective uh, Globally, for globally effective outcomes. Moving ahead, we have taken an objective view, China tells India, Chinese Park Air Force drills. Here, pe China and Pakistan ke beech mein jo ek Air Force drill ke baare mein, jo ho raha hai, uske baare mein discuss kiya gaya hai. Uh, India has raised a question on this ongoing uh, joint exercise between China and Pakistan because it has occurred at a time period when uh, an eight month long military standoff has already been taking place between India and China. I hope you remember Galwan Valley ke incident ke baare mein yaad hai. and uh, Galwan Valley is a disputed area in India and China ke border mein, uh, starting from Akshay, uh, I mean it is included within Akshay Chin on China's side of LSE and near the Shok River which is on India's side of LSE. If you look at India ke map, mein, 
गलवान वैली और इंडिया और चाइना के बॉर्डर के बीच में गलवान वैली को प्लेस करेंगे अगर आप देखोगे देन यू विल गेट अ you know uh, you will understand why it is strategically important why that area is strategically important for india aur yahan pe china aur pakistan ke beech mein jo air force uh, drill ho, ho raha hai the air force of china and pakistan are holding their annual exercises shaheen eagles 9 since the second week of december in pakistan's southern sindh province जो हो रहा है ड्रिल वो पाकिस्तान के सदर्न सिंध सिंध प्रोविंस में हो रहा है एंड चाइना हैज सेट दैट बिकॉज चाइना एंड पाकिस्तान आर ऑल वेदर स्ट्रेटेजिक कोऑपरेशन पार्टनर्स दैट मीन्स दे आर फ्रेंडली दे हैव अ फ्रेंडली रिलेशन एंड दे एक्सचेंज एंड कोऑपरेट इन मेनी एरियाज इंक्लूडिंग पॉलिटिक्स इकनॉमी मिलिट्री एज वेल एज सिक्योरिटी सो उन लोगों ने ये कहा है कि दिस इज़ अ वेरी नॉर्मल ईयरली अफेयर इन बिटवीन पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान एंड चाइना एंड इट इज़ नॉट टारगेटिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी थर्ड पार्टी का मतलब इनडायरेक्टली यहाँ पे इंडिया के बारे में ही बोला गया है वी होप उन लोगों ने कहा है कि वी होप दैट द रिलेवेंट पार्टी कैन व्यू दिस एज एन इन एन ऑब्जेक्टिव मैनर तो अगला जो न्यूज़ है वो है वियतनाम इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्टनर इन इंडो पैसेफिक विजन Vietnam has been described as an important partner in India's Indo-Pacific vision by Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and he also said that cooperation between these two countries can contribute in maintaining peace and stability in the region. Vietnam ko consider kiya gaya hai as an important pillar in the Act East policy. देखिए फ्रेंड्स जब ऐसे टर्म्स आते हैं यू नो एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी उसके साथ अगर आप एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी को एक बार रिवाइज कर ले ब्रशअप कर ले लुक ईस्ट पॉलिसी को एक बार फिर से रिवाइज कर ले एशियन कंट्रीज को उसके साथ एक बार देख ले देन इट बिकम्स इजियर फॉर यू सो दैट मेन्स परस्पेक्टिव में अगर ऐसा कुछ क्वेश्चन आए तो यू कैन इंक्लूड यू कैन फ्रेम योर आंसर वेल यू कैन इंक्लूड दिस टॉपिक्स एंड यू कैन फ्रेम योर आंसर ओके सो हियर क्या इंडिया ये कहा गया है कि इंडिया एंड वियतनाम का जो रिलेशनशिप है वो अपग्रेडेड अपग्रेड हो गया था इन अ वेरी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप इन 2016 आल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफेंस कोऑपरेशन दैट इट हैज ठीक है उसके वजह वजह से जो बायोलिटरल टाइज है इंडिया और वियतनाम के बीच में वो फास्ट एक्सपांडिंग दैट इज फास्ट एक्सपांडिंग बोट कंट्रीज हैव स्टेक्स इन द इंडो पैसेफिक रीजन इंडो पैसेफिक का मतलब होता है रिलेटिंग टू इंडियन ओशन एंड एडजस्टिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ द Pacific. These countries both have stakes and both can work together to explore the potential for further security and for maintaining further security and sustainability issues. जो इंडो पैसेफिक ओशन इनिशिएटिव है वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ने लास्ट ईयर ईस्ट एशिया समिट में जो बैंकॉक में हुआ था उसमें राइज किया था टू कंजर्व एंड सस्टेनेबली यूज द मेरीटाइम डोमेन so the next news is about the great conjunction between the two giant planets jupiter and saturn the sky watchers got an end of the year treat this evening with the rare celestial phenomena which is the great conjunction jahan pe do jo bade bade sabse bade planets hai of the solar system they seemed to merge this is a very rare um, occasion this is a very rare thing which was last observed nearly 800 years ago in 1226 ad aur jo next aane wala hai friends wo bhi uh, ekdam bahut dino ba- bahut saalo baad hai it's um, it it has been assumed that this will not occur it, it won't occur before march 15 2020 2018 2080 60 years from now okay so uh, ye aise hi ek general साइंस एंड टेक का एक फ्लैश है और अगर आपको कुछ कनेक्ट करके याद रखना अगर आपको पसंद है जो मैं करती हूँ देन यू कैन ट्राई दैट द लास्ट टाइम विच इट वेन इट ऑकर्ड इट वॉज इन ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी सिक्स आई थिंक इट शुड रिंग अ बेल फ्रॉम फ्रॉम असाम हिस्ट्री बिकॉज दिस वॉज द टाइम अराउंड विच अहोम डायनेस्टी दे केम एंड स्टार्ट इट रूलिंग इन असाम एंड दे रूल फॉर अराउंड सिक्स हंड्रेड ईयर्स इसका कोई कनेक्शन नहीं है फ्रेंड्स बट जस्ट फॉर कनेक्टिंग इफ यू इफ यू कैन कनेक्ट द डॉट्स स्पेशली इन हिस्ट्री कि कुछ डेट आपको याद आ जाए उसमें दोनों एक तीर से दो शिकार आप कर सकते हो कि यू नो ऐसे मैं करती हूँ तो आई थिंक इफ इफ इट इफ इट हेल्प्स ओके और उसके अलावा यहाँ पे फोर मून्स ऑफ जुपिटर के बारे में बोला गया है यू कैन सी द नेम्स आयो यूरोपा गायनेमेट एंड कैलिस्टो दैट्स इट एंड अगेन द लास्ट न्यूज़ विल बी अ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर असाम 
and specially Dhubri district rare honor for the Dhubri scientist Dr. Faizuddin Ahmed he has he's a 35 year old scientist from Dhubri and he has been enlisted in the Stanford's list of top 2% scientists in the world Ahmed a resident of Balazan village and a teacher in a private college along with 60 other Indian physicists has been featured in the list of top 2% of the world scientists that's a great news so uh, today till then you keep learning your Keep educating yourself and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's all for today. And uh, for, for more news and updates, please do watch uh, our YouTube channel. Thank you.